Come on, let's go. What's going on, guys? I'm gonna park down here on the levee. It's, of course, you can see me coming up the levee with a beaver pond right here. But I wanted to show you, we're gonna do a little beaver trapping. As you can see, look there, the beaver. So this spot right here, this is old beaver hut lodge. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you folks, the landowner had come in here and this was, this was, I don't know if y'all remember back during the summertime, I kind of showed some stuff, maybe it was on my story, but this was a beaver hut lodge, uh, had mounds of sticks right here. And what happened was the, the landowner, I couldn't come, I was on another job, landowner come in here and he put, <laughs> he put a little diesel on that thing and set the whole lodge on fire. And it actually burned it down into the levee. And it showed that there was a spot to where you could tell they were going up in there and that's where they were laying at. It wasn't very big, so it made me think that it was only one or two kind of coming in this area to, to kind of take up home in this thing. Now, as you can see, back down here, they got it a little dammed up right there, but it's a creek down there about a quarter mile or so. And they come up, they just follow this little ditch, and they get up here and say, oh, new place to be. Anyway, he burned it down, and then within a week, they come back in here, and look on them built it back and that's fresh right there of course it don't look fresh right there because of the leaves but that's just because the wind's blowing up and everything's falling they're coming on down so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with the traps we're probably going to set some right here and i'm, I'm going to set one one right there and then i'm going to set one right over here and then uh i may set one down at this ditch right down here just and, and maybe knock out a little bit and see if i can't catch one there but we got to get this dude out i don't think we got one or two they hadn't made home yet but i can tell you if he rebuilt this thing, he had that good insurance. I told the landlord, I said, he got that all state. He said, he in good hands. I said, he in good hands. <laughs> so any which way, we're going to get it lined up and see if we can't catch some beavers, y'all. Mm. Oh, like fell in. Water a little cool. I mean, wind a little cool. All right. So I'm going to take the Ow! Stickers on my tender skin, man. Anyway, I got this Duke 650. As you can see, it's already rusted, so I've been using it already. But you can see where the beaver's been coming up right here. Of course, he leaves right here. It'll be all right, because we're going to try to get that thing out here somewhere. Hey, Bella, see you running around? All right, let's find a good spot. What they're doing, they'll come up right here. We'll slick it up a little bit, make them look like it's been a little bit more. Bella is running around like crazy. I know that beaver's in here because that Bella is running around like crazy smelling and she knows what a beaver smells like. So anyway, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna set this thing. I like that. We'll take this chain and we're gonna stake it down right over here and the reason being i don't want them to try to get all up in that right there hopefully they'll get caught and can't get back this way anymore so looks like i got plenty oh that's two chains anyway uh what we'll do which i'll show you we're gonna take this right here that thing's got swivel on the end we'll take it and we're just gonna stake this down right over here and i'll show you here in just a second let me let me get up here so you can see it a little bit. <sighs> now, to be honest with you, chances are this beaver's gonna get hung up in this probably this root right here. And that's fine. He'll be here when we get there. The main thing I wanna do is make sure this chain is in the water. Let's see what we'll go around that right there. And then we're just gonna drag. We're gonna knock in the ground right here. I don't know if you see me over here and knock. Ow! We'll turn it a little bit. It'll probably look crooked. Probably look crooked. But it'll be all right. That ain't going nowhere. Any which way. That's what we got. That's one set. It comes in there, pipe guy. Bust your beaver. All right, guys. So basically, pull my sleeves up. So basically, I didn't set the trap and I didn't chain it, just stake it down over there. You see me do it over there. So I'm gonna slick this up a little bit. Ain't much going. All right. Let's 
All right, so I'm gonna run the trap. I'm gonna run this in a little deeper back here. So I'm gonna be up there, so I don't want no belly hair. So I'll run this trap right about here. So it's here, the chain goes around and goes around these weeds. So hopefully the plan is get caught and it goes back out here, can't get loose. So we'll see, they've been building here. I wanna keep going. Oh, I wanna give a shout out to my girl, look at him. She got me some hip waders, I like them, I love them. I gotta replace those pink boots cause uh, well, the mud kinda dry rotted them. I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> Any which way, it's that simple. Beaver's gonna come up here and do some work. Pam, I'm gonna catch them, go out here and hopefully drown. If not, when I get here, knock them in the head. That's what I do. Any which way, stay tuned till tomorrow. Or the next day, or the next day, or the next day. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, let's go see if we can hunt something up. So, guys, I'm gonna show you kind of the same set. I still got a Duke 650 on the chain, except this time we're down here, we're down here on kind of a dam. And I don't know if you can see it real good here, but you see how this this is fresh mud right here? I even see a toe print right there. Uh, but you see how this mud is different colored right there? It's like, basically it's dried. It's come off this bottom, they come up here and they dam this up. That overflow coming out of there, they're trying to dam this ditch up. So what I like to do, a lot of times, I don't have my rake with me, but you can take this old dirt right here and just get that started. Like I said, if I have my rake or my shovel, get started a lot better. And it don't take much. And I'll come in here in just a minute and finish up the rest. You can see that water starting to flow. And depending on how long it takes for these beavers to come in right here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just come on back. Probably, let's see, let me get my sleeves pulled up. See how that water's just barely moving? They ain't gonna be able to stand it. And I'll just move this thing on back here. And I got leaves and stuff up under here. So I'll rake all these kind of these leaves back. So get down to that mud. It's in there tight. Let's see. Take some of that. Like I said, I don't have my shovel or tater rake I usually use, but hey, ain't nothing wrong with getting your hands dirty. Get that started a little bit. Now they gonna hear that water run. They come. Hopefully they gonna come in here when they go to fixing the carry it on, they get in here. Bye yeah. So I'll show you real quick. Oh. I gotta find my chain. We'll come in here with this chain real quick. Oh man. So we're back. I had to stop it because I had to find my stake. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to spend five minutes looking around. But anyway, and I'll just kind of put this piece of rebar here. get caught he'll be on there when i get here in the morning it's not deep enough to drown as long as we hold him so anyway they'll hear that water running if he's at the lodge if he don't get caught coming out if he goes out and misses it misses those or trips them come up here try to fix this bam like i said we had two sets out and uh as you know three's better than two. Oh man Ugh. i wanted to show y'all real quick i come down here just gonna peek out a little place a little bit and see if I couldn't jump a deer or something like that. But you see this creek right here? That's that same creek that runs all the way up there to that dam, that dam set I set. I just wanna show you, coming out of this creek right here, you can see that's uh, that's beaver tracks right there. And then that's a caster mound set right there. See where he dug that up? See how he dug that up? So what they do is they come in here and they pile that mud up and then they well, I call secrete on it or whatever and put their smell on it and that's kind of like their territorial thing. I could come in here and set a trap right down here and probably catch him, but having to come down here every single day to check the traps down here would be a lot harder if he's going to be hanging out up there. If his lodge is up there, he's coming down here and he's just, just eating, finding new sticks, chew on, whatnot. But I just want to show y'all, that's, that's kind of an old one, maybe not too old. I can't... No, I can smell it. It smells good. God, I love that smell. But any which way, that's down here on the creek. I told y'all. I told y'all I knew what I was talking about. <laughs>
All right, me and Harlow headed back to the wood. The killer said he want to kill again. He see a little trigger happy. I told him the rut's kind of on, no way on the buck, but he said you knock the does out. <laughs> you had to worry about him chasing. Anyway, y'all stick with him. Harlow holding the stairwell for me while I eat and film. So y'all don't hate on us too much. Anyway, we had wood. Got anything to say? Keep you out on the road, 10 and 2. Oh, How am I supposed to do 10 and 2? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Harlow's getting his stuff together, getting his shells, getting his gun, getting ready to go back down in this bottom where he shot a doe the other day. So, uh, uh, look like you might have the cows on your end, but they're coming up this way, but you'll be on the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, so they can't get over there. They'll probably end up coming up here. They seen this old Yoda. Think they're going to get fed or something. But anyway, we're going to give it a shot. There ain't no dish down there in the field already. I'm gonna shoot that dog. You don't see that deer standing over that big tree over there? With it back right above us, a bat right now. Yeah. I'm gonna kill it. I don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, you got your, you got your bullets. Is that yours in my pocket? All right, I'll get, load it when I get home. All right, yeah, load it when you, at least load it when you get across the fence. Across the fence. All right. We, we uh, yeah, we just saw a coyote coming in here, so Harlow, you better. You see that coyote? You know, yeah, right? Yeah, I ran into my field. Yeah. If he's still in there, I'm gonna bust him. We actually could have shot it from opening up the gate, but those cows was back over this hill right here, and he was shooting over the hill. So, the so mess. yeah, so the uh, the coyote was kind of crested on the hill, but you could see on the next hill or in the bottom right there, there were those cows down there. So if you'd have missed the coyote, you know, or whatever, even if you would have hit the coyote, uh, it could have went on there. through it and wounded the cow. So it's just little things you got to remember. That you you got to look beyond your target. You know, we just learn. Well, you know, we just try to teach that as best we can. So, but if it's coyote, he's down in your field now. So. He comes back out late. Bust. All right, let's roll. Anyway, hunts over with. Oh, I thought I heard a a boom or a whack around here somewhere. I don't know any which way. Harlow said, "Just look what I got." Is all I can say. So anyway, he said he'd drag it up. So I didn't know if it would be big or not. But. <laughs> oh, I can't see. Let me get closer. Uh, Look at him. <laughs> so any which way, we're trapping like right here. So uh, I told you it wasn't about one beaver, so I guess uh, Harlow done knocked it in the head or something. Any which way, he's always coming out of the woods with something. The hammer, the hammer, the killer. Killer's gonna kill. So any which way, I guess we turn a trapping adventure into a little hunting adventure and uh, dragging that meat out. Any which way, y'all know the deal. Y'all have a good one. God bless it as always. Jesus loves you. You can drag it. <laughs> <laughs> oh.